Hi! Welcome to Living's Review. My name is Ruth and thank you for joining us. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble monitor desktop mount and I will break the process into simple steps. And since we're using the monitor mount for recording station, I will show you how to adjust it and how to set up your gear so each of you can easily create the best recording station. And by the way, I created full review of the desktop monitor mount, so make sure you will check it out. I will put the links up here. So without further ado, let's start. Let's start with unboxing and see what you're getting. Manual, clamp base, two arms, four VESA plates, two poles, ring that connects between the two poles, cover of the pole, cable clamps, those two parts are used for the grommet mount base, and lastly, screws and tools for the assembling. Let's start working on assembling the base of monitor mount. But before you connect the base mount to the table, firstly you need to attach one of the poles to it. For this step you will need five stickers, 4mm allen key, 3M screws and pole with 3 holes. Now place the holes of the pole on the holes of the mount base and screw and secure them with allen key. Let's add 5 stickers next to the edges of the base, just like I do it. And now choose where you want to locate the mount base, attach it to your table and secure it. The next step is to add the first arm. For this you will need one unit of arm and 6mm allen key. Place the host of the arm unit on the pole and start to move the arms to the sides to adjust their height. To fix the arms in their place, secure the screw behind the base of the arms. Make sure you tighten the arms strong enough to keep them in their place, but in the same time, you should be able to move the arms to the sides. Now we're going to attach our screens. You can follow the step or skip it and continue to assemble your monitor mount and then return to this step. For this step, you will need two VESA plates, four units of MA or MC screws accordingly to your screen, ME ring and Phillips screwdriver. And before we start, it's important to understand how to attach the VESA plate properly on the arm. The part with the hole on the VESA plate needs to be placed on the screw at the end of the arm. So firstly, remove the leg of your monitor. And then attach the VESA plate with the proper screws. Remember, the part with the hole needs to face up. And now attach the VESA plate on the arm and in the end secure the screw on the arm so the arm holds your monitor stably. Those arms are compatible with screens between 19 inches up to 32 inches, but our screens don't follow those standards, so we need to increase the second arm so they can be next to each other. For this step, you will need only 6mm allen key. To extend the arm, we need to remove only the base of the arm and take the second arm unit and disassemble its section with 6mm allen key. Connect this section to the arm intended for the monitor and secure it with 6mm allen key. And now let's complete the entire assembling. We need the big ring G, 3mm and 6mm allen keys, the second pole and the second arm unit. Firstly, let's remove the small screws located inside the ring with 3mm allen key. 
Put the ring on the pole and screw it on. Add the second pole and secure the ring with the two screws we took out earlier. And now add the second arm unit. Adjust its height and secure the arm with the 6mm Allen key. That's it, we finished to assemble the desktop monitor mount and so far we added just two screens and please let me know in the comments down below how it goes for you. And now I want to show you how you can adjust your monitor mount and add your recording device, a microphone, the light panel and so on. So let's start. You can attach easily every gear you have directly on arms or use adapters. Most of devices and accessories have universal thread and for this project I used only 3 8 inches and 1 quarter inch screws. You can attach your recording device directly on arms, but to make it more adjustable, I added to arm monopod extension rod and ball head and secured it with 3 8 inch screws. That allows me to control the height, different directions and the angles of my video shooting. I attached the light panel to VESA plate with high quality bow head and secured it with 1 quarter inch screw. Along the arms and legs spreaded clips so you can organize and hide cables of your devices. To give cleaner touch, you can add scotches in strategic areas so you are building your practical, neat and organized recording station. Moreover, we removed two sections from different arms and used them to extend the arm of light panel, just like we did with the monitors. It's a winning combination, I can control the high direction and the angle of the light panel, and with the extended arm I can light up even more space of the studio. To attach the boom mic, I'm using a microphone stand and as you can see, it has clamp mount base, and without any other accessories I can easily attach and secure it on the arms. Thank you so much for watching this video so far and if you enjoyed and received value, please click the like button and if you want to see more videos like that, subscribe to our channel. I wish you the best of everything, lots of health and I will see you in the next video.